All right, guys, I want to drop a video here for you tonight. <clears throat> and we're going to talk about uh, really just trucking. You know, every company that I've been with, I've at least given one year uh, as far as because, you know, in trucking, you know, you got your highs, you got your lows, and you got your really lows, but uh, breakdowns and, you know, all that good stuff with comes with trucking so in my four-year career you know I started out with prime <clears throat> you know I started out with prime uh, really just to kind of get in my uh, just get under my belt as far as the the trucking industry itself you know I started out doing six to eight weeks out without coming home so that obviously was a challenge coming from real estate you know 14 years of real estate and, and going on the road with trucking that was a huge change but um, uh, you know we made it work um, it wasn't easy it was some you know very trying times and with prime the the biggest thing was that I never knew where my loads were coming from like I, I mean like when they would when I'd get done with the load, I'd get another load. And it could be uh, 2 p.m., 2 a.m., 5 p.m., 5 a.m., a delivery. It was everywhere refrigerated. So with, with that being said, um, I kind of transitioned to NFI, uh, Heaven Hill, as far as delivering the bourbon. And that's where I kind of really started realizing the consistency of, of different companies you know that was refrigerated which is you know 24 7 appointments basically with refrigerated companies um, with NFI that was dry box you know I was delivering bourbon to the uh, suppliers um, throughout the states and but I would know what I was delivering beforehand you know the previous week uh, I would know what I'd be delivering the next week so I kind of knew that schedule and I would be home my weekends every weekend um, really like that you know as far as you know, transition from prime to being home every weekend and knowing your schedule that was great that was I mean that was a, that was a good thing um, but after a year doing that um, I feel like there was no growth as far as like that my uh, earning potential was very limited because they were a, a Monday through Friday company um, and it wasn't only just like them wanting to do that but the um, the di distribution centers where we deliver to were only open Monday through Friday so I felt a little limited there. So I was like, okay. So I jumped into the flatbed world with Fraley and Schilling, um, which was a huge difference because it went from refrigerated to dry van now to flatbed. And I was like, okay, so let's do this and try this out. You know, get more exercise. Uh, shouldn't be a huge issue. Um, but I found out very quickly that the KWs that they run and that they they, the, they run the pack car motors that they have a lot of, they had they had a lot of if, issues with it. So with having a lot of issues and at this point in time, they had a lot of uh, supply and demand as far as the the, the parts that came in so I found myself you know being broke down and and in the shop and you know things have to be ordered oh it may take a week may, may take three weeks you know just you know different things kind of led for me from leaving uh, Fraley realizing that while I was with Fraley that you know everywhere I would go I would see the the Loudoun County trucks the LCT trucks and I'm thinking like, okay, 
Well, Fraley, their, their kind of thing was, you know, got weight. So the trucks were extremely light where you can haul heavy freight. So basically they were, you know, it was a sleeper cab, a day cab with a sleeper in the back basically a bed so you're in a day cab with the bed and that's it i mean it was i mean it was super tight and some people you know hey that's that's you know that, that's okay but for me like i wanted to stay out a little bit longer and my wife to be on the truck with me you know i got henry on the truck with me and we like to run a little bit you know as far as to have some room versus being on top of each other so with that being said moved over to loudon county Loudoun County, um, same freight, same everything as Fraley. Um, essentially, you got bigger trucks, you got a 72 inch sleeper, um, and you know, everything just seemed to be running really, really smooth. Till it wasn't. And what I mean, till it wasn't. So when you come over to Loudoun County, um, they make you do a 90-day trial as far as before you do lease operator so my whole goal from leaving Fraley to jumping into Loudon was to do a lease option you know the purchase uh, and when when things went from uh, good to bad you know, I started questioning myself as far as the truck that I had. So, I got the Volvo, 2019 Volvo. Um, uh, it's a V&L 640, I think is what it is. And um, it's a mid-roof. Um, I just found myself, you know, doing a lot of, having a lot of issues with the, um, I've never had a, you know, any engine, engine repair issues but I mean just like a lot of small things that would keep me in the shop you know periodically that would cause me downtime so at that point after having a truck for you know six seven months I told Jesse you know my dispatcher I said hey let's 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 do a um, let's get another truck a freight liner and let's move forward with the uh you know the lease purchase or whatever and um you know i've been on hold for for several months uh, not being able to switch to lease purchase because they they don't have any trucks but they've recently you know they've gotten in several trucks and but they've went to different people, which, you know, seniority, I totally understand or whatever, but um, things is kind of slowly went kind of downhill from there. Um, I've been waiting on my back hauls. With all that being said, um, I felt like three, six months ago that I really knew where I was picking up where I was delivering, where I was getting the backhaul, where I was delivering, and kind of going from there. Like I kind of really knew my schedule, and they were really flexible with with the you know getting Heather on the truck and you know doing different things like that. Um, really, kudos to to them um, for doing that. Uh, the thing that I'm looking at now is we we know certain scenarios where. You know Heather's gonna be on the truck or I need to be in a certain area that when I go to reload those truck or those those loads are taken so what do I mean by those loads are taken like why why wouldn't that load put on me versus somebody else and that's something that I personally cannot uh, say because I don't know uh, all I know is that a lot of the times that we're looking at two or three four days out you know I'm gonna be in a certain area and when I go to try to book something 
and the 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 the, the load planner or or the night shift people or whatever is saying that well, that loads put on somebody else so that's a little frustrating um, so my whole go is to try to own my own truck within the next five years and that's the reason why I wanted to you know switch over from the freight the freight liner from the Volvo because I've had a lot of issues with this Volvo and me personally I think there's a lot of electrical issues. I mean, like there's a lot. Sometimes, I mean, like I've done several videos with, you know, the the hazard lights not working or not wanting to go off or not wanting to come on or the the the, the gas tank. You know, as far as you don't know what kind of fuel you got. Um, I mean, a, a lot of different things that I put in my past videos that I'm just not comfortable with moving forward with the lease purchase of buying this truck um, and buying this truck for almost I mean almost $120,000 after everything's said and done I think 135000 actually after everything's said and done so it's for me I was like let's get a Bob or uh, get a Freightliner and let's you know kind of go from there and it's it's been downhill from there so when I ask as far as like hey you know what number am I on as far as the because uh, they have a list as far as like people that are waiting to to get in a lease purchase or whatever and I'll get the, I'll get back with you on that and it's never it's 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 never answered it's always you know I'll, I'll get back with you but they never get back with me so at this point I sadly to say that it's you know time to leave Loudoun County we got some new opportunities uh, approaching and uh, it's it's I feel like it's gonna be good <coughs> and I feel like it's gonna be uh, um, you know an exciting move forward so you know all I can say is with giving everybody a year you know let's 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 see what these people have and what they have to offer and what kind of loads we can get and uh, let's pre-plan ourselves out to go in the direction of where we want to go and when we want to be home and you guys be safe and I'll holler back at you